Hi guys, welcome to another Game Boys Ross awesome video, guys. Today, this is going to be another episode of the car boot. This is episode 74, which is fantastic. Sorry that I've not been bringing any out for a while. I've just been busy doing other things. So yeah, here goes, and here's an episode for you. Um, yeah, this one, I didn't really find a lot of gaming stuff, but I did find some cool things that I end up keeping, and uh, a few little different bits and bobs. So there's not a lot of game-related stuff in this, but there's a few bits. But hopefully you guys enjoy it anyway. It's only one weekend, this one. So I did two car boots in one weekend. I thought I'd throw some out, because there's quite a few clips. I thought, yeah, this might do. You should guys should enjoy this. But I've still got quite a few to get out. So, yeah, I've got quite a few cool things I've found recently. This weekend, literally, just gone. I did well as well. Got a couple of cool things. If you want to see it, it's on my Facebook page. Um, yeah, as you would have seen already, I would have whacked up my uh, Facebook bits and uh, Instagram if you want to check out those. So yeah, anyway guys, I'm going to throw the clips and I'll see you at the end of the video. Didn't get some video guys, but I just picked these up. Some nice uh, meat, uh, meatloaf and a World of the Worlds. I paid £2.50 for the free. Um, so yeah, sorry I didn't get a video, I thought I was videoing, but no, my camera decided not to video, so yeah, pretty good. They're pretty bad, but you know, I'm happy to have that. This is where I got the vinyls from guys, which you would have seen in the first clip. Yeah, this is where I got them from. And as well, this guy has an awesome Pikachu or Pokemon sticker book, which is pretty sweet. So I asked the guy how much he wants for this as well. Sorry, buddy. Right. Can I open that? That's right, innit? Oh, Alright, that is. <laughs> Remember that phone? Do you remember that one? Did well, right? <laughs> 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 the old deal range a little bit, mate. None of them's expensive. All Irish, we've had 200. How much is this book? Look at that picture of Pam, mate. Pam, yeah. If you take a few, mate, I'll put it in. Pam. Thank you. Thank you. So as you see now guys, I picked it up for a quid which is really good. I do come back a little bit later and pick up another vinyl from him as well, which is awesome. How much is your camera? Daniels. How much is your camera? Ian. It's Ian. Right. Ian, how much is this camera? Mm. It's a Cine camera. Ten pounds. Cine. Right. 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 <laughs> The, the These are the remotes. Oh, that's right, okay. They're the remotes. You've got the charger now. Yeah. The Cine camera, yeah. Are we making Cine? Yeah. Okay, I'll put those in there. Oh, that's I don't know how I was supposed to do that. Oh, is that what it was? It's been around a while. Oh, yeah. um. There you go, I'll give 
Ten for it. Thank you. Thank you. You got the remote? Yeah, I'll put them in there. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know. Just in case as you're looking at it. It's got um, what, have you been all the tapes in it. <laughs> I don't know, are these empty or they've got those on them? Yeah. Do you need these, Ian? Have they got the things on? Our films on? Because you need, you need them, won't you? Well, that one has. Eh? Oh, nice. Pete's extension. No, I'm not. <laughs> if they're all, just wipe it out. Yeah, I'll, I'll uh, If they're not written on, then. <laughs> yeah, okay. Does this mean you've got Cavaliers? Yeah. So have I. Have you? Yeah, I've got one in two plates. <laughs> uh, how yeah. Many, how many you got? I've only got one, this one. Oh, yeah. It's only got three legs. Oh, yeah, well, we've had five. We've had five. Yeah, we've only got one left. Thank you. Thanks. Just picked up an awesome Sony camera, guys, for only £10. It's from 1997, and it cost nearly £800 back in the day. Still got the original receipt in it as well, which is wicked. Fully working. I'm definitely keeping that for a while. Really happy. Is that one? Go on, then. You haven't got a bag for it, have you? Yeah, obviously. Oh, we've got a game. Just pound for that. How You get a nose. How much is this? Uh, three. Oh, that's pretty cool. Will you take two? Will you go two fifty? Two fifty. Go on, then. yeah, I'll do that. Uh, let's see what I've got. Change. Here you go. Thank, Thank you. you much. As you see, I spotted this really cool Goku plush, which is huge. And I only paid £2.50 to the scene. I'm not a mass massive into Dragon Ball Z, but yeah, I thought I had to pick him up because he's really cool. But yeah, only for what I paid, you know, it's not the sort of thing you see every day, a massive plushes like that. So that's definitely probably for a fun fair or something like that because it's still got like a hang tab thing on there on top of it. But yeah, really cool to pick up that. How much? How much are these? Um, um, so. Are these fifty pence? Each, um, or all those? I think um, so. And yeah. how much is that? How much is a car? Is that same fifty as well? Uh, well, that will be a pound because it's fifty. Okay, yeah. But, but they're fifty pence each. So. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, I've got, got five. And what should be, um, should it should be three, three pounds, pound, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. A few PS2 games here, nothing that was amazing, I thought I'd just have a little look, um, yeah, just the usual sport titles, some racing games, some other ones, but nothing that I really wanted for the collection, so yeah, I left them. Sadly, I couldn't get it on video that well, but hopefully you guys can see some titles. City box PS2 games like that? Some PSP things. PSP, yeah. No games there. No, some PS2 I like I am Legends of World of Fame. Is it Fable Rocket? There's some little ones. How much these marble figures? Right, uh, they ain't cheap, mate. Okay. <laughs> that one's uh, thirty pound. Okay. Uh, twenty pound, ten pound. Right. Them figures are pretty sweet, but I don't want to pay the price. He's asking anyone really like you know quite high end prices for those. I didn't even research them, but I thought I'd definitely get them in a video, and you can see what I get, what I do, how I do it, how I love it. You gotta do it, how I do it, just like that. Yeah. There's some cool Marvel figures, I think they're Jake, but they, they want quite a bit from them. How much did you ask? Did you ask about where? Yeah. Where? 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 <laughs> There's all that stuff my mum would listen to. <laughs> I'm gonna go to her. That's pretty sick. Has that got that song in it? That's pretty good. Oh, you're Ross, yes, mate. Boy George. <laughs> Boy George. Is that a... Is that... No, it's not a... How much is this one? This 10 bob. 50p, sorry. 50p. So I've got 50p in. I've got a pound now. Yeah, 
Thank you very much. Yeah. Other scene, picked up a vinyl for 50p. Uh, can't go wrong. You know, aha, pretty good album. Um, yeah, got Take Me On in it, which is a great song. So yeah, I thought I'd definitely grab that and have a listen to that when I get home. Sweet. How much is this? Fiver. Of course you can go. It's like a, it's like a paperweight. Very heavy. Will you take four? No. No. Probably, but yeah, you probably might get thirty quid for that. Okay. I don't know if it works. That's why it's fiver. Okay. I was very tempted to pick up a Furby for only a fiver, but I didn't want to risk it. You know, a lot of them can be broken, but you know, I left it for someone else anyway. How much is the bike? 20. 20. Right. Too bad, isn't it? Mm. £20 on the bike, mate. Yeah, alright. <laughs> How much is this? One pound. Uh, do you know? Do you know the code in it or anything like that? No idea. No. There you go. Thank you. This was a really cool find, guys. An iPad fourth generation for only one pound. Sadly, yes, I do end up replacing the screen and stuff on it, and it has got iCloud block on it, which I so I can't end up using it. But still, for only £1, it was worth a risk. And yeah, I'm probably going to move it on and sell it for spares. But it's pretty, pretty cool. So you're getting? Two quid for Xbox, is it? For the Xbox, yeah, yeah. just yeah. 50p for the PlayStation and others. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to change? Oh, yeah. Five. Okay. Now, recently started playing Final Fantasy X. Yeah. And recently, it was like when I had it, it was pretty like over 100 hours into it. Wow. <laughs> there you go. Mate. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Anyway. Hey. Finally, found some games that I thought I might as well pick up. Some Final Fantasy ones. I don't actually have these in my collection. I've never really played the Final Fantasy games. I've never really got like really into them sort of style games, you know, RPGs. 
But I thought I'd grab them up for only one. I think it was £2.50 I paid, which I thought was a fair price. The guy was trying to talk to me about them, but I have no you know, clue about the Final Fantasy games. So I thought I'd grab them, pick them up, and maybe I'll have a go on them one day, put them in a the collection, and uh, yeah, maybe go down to give them a good old go one time and uh, see if I can get into them. But. Picked up this game as well, guys. Didn't get it on video, sadly, but only £1 to pay for this. So hit and run, classic game, really good. So yeah, can't go wrong. No, 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 brother. Brother, I can't go buy uh, for a ten pound anyway. You understand? It's three pound. Uh, uh, How much? It? Yeah, and uh, just in have left three. How much it is? Three pound. Three pound. Yeah. Um. Brother, this leather anyway you put uh, is leather very very strong. We take two. Give yeah. Me There you go, thank you. Okay, thanks. Something a little bit different picking up guys is actually clothing. You know, I picked up a hat. It's not to do with anything to do with gaming. But this is a clothing brand that I've loved for years. It's Drop Dead. Drop Dead is awesome. It's actually Ali Sykes and Brimmy Rising's company. Um, they've gone down the hill a bit now. The designs aren't as good as they used to be. So I don't really wear their newer stuff. But I still wear the old stuff, which is awesome. So really happy to have that. I wear it every now and again now at hat. So it looks great. This looked interesting guys, I thought it might have some value to it, but it literally it's worth like 5 quid and that's it really. Pretty much brand new in box, it is like, you know, Guitar Hero for the iPhone or your phone. Which looks pretty sweet, but no, I didn't grab it, I just left it. Spotted his awesome DVD guys, Hocus Pocus, really good film, if you guys have not seen it, it's a classic, sort of halloween -y film definitely, and you know, you don't have to watch it on Halloween, it's a really good Disney film, so yeah, if you've not seen it, get down and give it a good watch, classic film, definitely worth it. DVD's a pound, don't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go, thank you. Uh -huh. 
găsesc mai bun așa. Am unul roșu, știi? La garaj, dar nu știu ce face. Și ăla nu-i de la mare. La mai simplu, știi? Nu știu, Adelin Putăcic. How much are your CDs? Fifty people. Okay. You're going to change for ten, for five, sorry. Yeah. Well, no, change. I think I am not sure. That's He may drop round as well. Yeah. Alright, kiddo, see you later. That's fine. Uh, I haven't got any other change. I've only got, I've only got 30p, that's all I've got. Oh, give me two. Give me two. Yeah, is that okay? Yeah. Thank you, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Picked up an album I didn't have, which is Day to Remember. Really good, awesome album, this one. I think it's Homesick, it's called. Yeah, happy. It's got a few scratches on it, but you know, I've got a disc cleaner anyway, so I can buff that beast up. And yeah, happy to have a uh, awesome CD in the collection. So let's now head off to the pickups, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the pickups. And yeah, see you later. Hi, guys. Welcome to the pickups. So today, yeah, I did two car boots, and yeah, I've just it's just finished. So I thought I might as well show you guys, as always, what I picked up and some stuff I didn't get on video, but yeah. Um, so let's go through the first thing. First thing I get this big thing out of the way, I got this massive, I think his name's Goku, I'm not sure, I don't really know much about Dragon Ball, but he's from Dragon Ball, he cost me, uh, Dragon Ball Z, uh, he cost me £2.50, so I thought, yeah, get him. Um, he's probably going to be moved on, but I thought I'd grab him because he's, you know, a really cool big Goku, so I think he's probably from, from, like a, from like a fun fair, it looks like. So I got him. Um, I've got a video camera. I'll show you guys. I mean, I pick up video cameras because some of them can be worth quite a bit. And I've always picked them up, as you guys would have seen in my videos. But I've not really picked any up for a while. Uh, but this one, I couldn't resist. It was only £10, which is quite high for a novel on a pay. But I think this one could be worth some good money. So, it seems to be quite in good condition. And it is this one. People seem to, people collect these. People buy them to, fit, to get to like uh, get their old videos back and put them on the computer because I need to use these to get them um, but this one has a screen so has a screen in it um, and you can yeah so Sony Sony's one of the best ones to really to get if you want to get them to move on I paid £10 for that um, it even comes with the manuals which is really nice so another thing what people collectors want so yeah that's awesome a bag as well um it even comes with a load of cassette like cassette tapes um which are here hopefully they're blank I, I one of them they took one of them because it had a name on it so they knew what it was on it but the rest of them you know and it has a extra charger pit which is um for the charger and it has an extra bit, extra bit in here which is what I needed. So you got an extra battery or what's this bit? One would take that'd be quite that's pretty cool. It takes proper normal batteries. Converts it, that's really cool that I've never seen one of those like that before. And it comes with all the cables to plug it into the TV and that's so that's that is fantastic. Ten pounds I thought I can't haggle on that, you know. I'm going to make money back on it anyway, so and that's going to be quite a fair price. Not sure what I can make back in it. Sometimes they go for about 80 quid, maybe more. Um, 40, 50, all over the place these are, but yeah, I can easily make my money back on that. I have some spare money for myself and profit. Um, 
so the next thing I've got would have been vinyls. I didn't get any games from there. Um, but I got some cool vinyls from this one guy. He had some really nice ones. Um, and oh yeah, I got a, I got this one as a guy as well. I got this Pokemon book, which is a Pokemon um, sticker book uh, from the nineties. I don't know if it's complete. It's got a few stickers in it. Looks like it's close to competing because the, the kid who had it before is uh, uh, ticked them all off on the side. I noticed. So yeah, it's got quite a lot of them in here. So close to completion. Um, sticker book. As you can see, they're uh, pretty cool. So very happy that that was only a quid. So I thought, yeah, I get that. Uh, I'm not sure where to put this up there. I'll put it there for now. I got some vinyls. I think I may have this one already, but I thought for 50p, I think is what it's for. Um, it was £2.50, I think he said. I didn't get it on video, sadly. I tried to video, but it was, you know, I, did, I didn't press video. I, I just left it by accident and I meant to press it. But I got, um, I got Meatloaf, which is really cool. Meatloaf. Uh, I do like his music. Um, Bat Out of Hell, which is a classic. I love it. This is one of my favourite. Bat Out of Hell, really good album. Um, so yeah, that was with that. And to top it off, I picked up this. This is wicked. Um, Two pound fifty I paid for the two, three of those. Um, this is complete. I thought this is a double. This is probably actually a better condition one of mine. And then maybe not actually. It's got a bit of a rip there on there, but. Um, this bit might be even might even be in better condition. Oops, it's a little slip, the bit where everyone knit once. So I know if you few vinyl collectors watch my videos, I think I know some people say, "Oh, I, I collect vinyl and stuff." And so yeah, if you guys might be interested. So I thought I'd get that. Maybe move. I think this will be moved on because I've already got the one I got a while back. It's met. I don't know. This could be a, a, an upgrade, but it's not in the best condition. But you know, for that price, I thought I'd get it. And I got Aha. Aha. Um, it's got the classic song Take Me On, which is a great song. So I thought I'd definitely get that. Um, you know, awesome. So I paid four, no, three, three pounds for all those because I got another that one. You would have seen me look for him again, his stuff again. And I got it on video. And I got this one, 50p. So I paid three quid for some vinyls, which I don't really pick them up often. So I thought I'd grab a couple. Hopefully my camera will hold in for a battery on it again. I'm going to put it on just in case, otherwise this video will be um, short and then I'll be like, what the hell? So right now I've done the first car beat, I think that's what all I got from the first car beat. It wasn't anything amazing, but actually no it wasn't. I got some, I got some toys. Um, not sure where I put them. I got these, these little block men, and you stack them, and you can. Uh, not sure why these ones won't fit properly, but you stack them and you put them together like that. Oh, that's why it's upside down. You put them up together like that, and you can they come and talk to each other and fight and stuff. And I got these. <coughs> I got. I got a few of them. They were I got these for three quid. So I got this as well. It's gonna to go to a friend called Graham. Um named Retro Beast. And I got a yo-yo. Um so next, let me get the stuff I've got out. I hope you guys like doing like me doing video pickup videos. I don't really you know I like doing them. I like to show you what I've got, things that I may have not got on video. Um, so next up, I, what I got today from this car boot, I got a Harry Potter toy figure. I didn't get it on video, I think. I might have done. Um, yeah, the guys are a quid, so I couldn't leave that behind. Which is pretty neat. Um, I got some games. I got Final Fantasy X. And uh, yeah, it's all complete with manual, I think. Just a two quid. I got this one as well, 50p from the same guy. All complete with the DVD as well, which is nice. So that was £2.50. Picked this up for a quid. 
it's a bit scratched but I may be able to clean it up myself so hit and run which is the top game and the classic movie which is awesome Hocus Pocus that was a pound picked up a couple CDs Blink 182 which is an awesome album my first ever Blink 182 album I actually brought my original one I'm not sure what I've done with the disc and it's probably be really scratched by now but this is a nice copy I thought I might as well get, a, get an upgrade so and I got this is a wicked album as well um, this one as well I had this one I got from the car bit a while back but um, it got damaged and uh, yeah it was really scratched and it sort of broke the disc so now I've got a replacement which is wicked so they were, they were uh, two pounds no they were a pound because they were 50 each I got myself a drop dead hat which is a drop dead clothing which is a clothing that I used to wear a lot of their stuff back in the day still got a lot of it but a lot of it didn't really fit in me a lot of it's gone really tatty because I've worn it so much it's just you know I thought I'd definitely pick it up for two pound because when do you ever see drop dead stuff I've seen a few drop dead stuff actually at car boots but um yeah I thought I'd definitely pick up this because I used to love wearing this stuff back in the day um right guys so I had to film this in a different location literally probably outside my house um yeah, I'm showing you my pickups here, the ones where I got up to, because my camera was uh, overheating again because it gets really hot in the car. Um, so yeah, I got this guy, Harry Potter dude. Um, he's uh, one of the giants at the last. I think it's um, Half Blood Prince or something like that. And his hand moves. He's got no clothes for some reason, but yeah, he was a quid, so I thought I'd definitely grab him. I'll show you some of the games I've got, um, which is cool. i got some Final Fantasies. Like I was talking to you about them, which I don't have, I'm not really into Final Fantasy. Uh, I grabbed them just to move on really, you know. Um, and I've already, most of the games i picked up, I've actually got, so yeah. So i got Final Fantasy here for the PC, PC for the PlayStation 2. Comes with DVD and that. I think I may have shown this already, but I don't know. Yeah, but it comes with a DVD and all that great stuff. Um, I've got Final Fantasy 5 or 10, I don't know which one it is. This one here is complete with uh, all discs as well. Um, nice condition. Manual. And I've got Simpson Hit and Run, which is, I think, you know, still kind of worth some money. I don't know. Um, bit scratched. But I can probably clean that up and get it back to a nice condition. I've got that game already. Um, I've got an awesome DVD, Hocus Pocus for a quid. Wicked, wicked film. One of my favourites as a kid. Um, one awesome, awesome item I picked up, guys, is this iPad. I think I may have got a video. I don't know. I hope there was a video, and I don't know if I was. But I picked up this iPad, which is completely smashed. It is the iPad 4. I've looked it up. I've looked at how to hopefully recover it and fix it. And I'm going to be keeping this for myself. I love my iPod, iPod stuff. Or my iPad or my Apple products. Um, I've never had an iPad ever. And um, yeah, I bought this. This cost me £1. I could not believe it. £1. And let me show you. I've already tested it, charged up. It has got, it's loading up with the Apple and it is working. But all it needs really is a new screen or new um, touch bezel. Um, this is like the touch screen bit. That bit's knackered and the home button here is broken. Um, as you can see, it's broken, the wire snapped. But I've looked up and I can fix this and I can hopefully get rid of the password. It's got a password on, password unlock, which is here with Polish um, writing um, text or language on it. And um, I've worked out, you know, I've looked up on the internet, on, e on U eBay, eBay, on YouTube, and I uh, can hopefully get this back up and running again. Um... Basically, all you've got to do is re reset it to factory resettings in iTunes and it should wipe the whole lot off and I can get a uh, iPad fully working for me. 
So for two quid, or quid, sorry, was wicked. And I bought a new bezel or touchscreen, and that cost me six ninety nine. Coming from China, so it may take a little while. But, yeah, eight quid. I got myself an iPad if it works. I'd do an update if this works and get it, if I can get it up and done. I'll do an update of it, which would be wicked. So, yeah, really pleased with that. Let me just turn it off if I can. Just like that. There we go. Turned it off. So that was wicked for two pound. I really couldn't, you know, leave that. I'm definitely not. I keep saying two pound. It was a pound. A oh, pound. Okay. <laughs> get there somewhere. Uh, let's try this out. It's new house. Well, I haven't tried this out yet. Doesn't seem like it's in horrible condition. There we go. Back to the back. 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 And I may need to make it a bit bigger because my head is quite big. Or well, it's not massive, but it's big enough. So yeah. That looks pretty cool. I'm happy with that. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed it. As you see, there wasn't a lot of gaming stuff. I got a few like little bits of different stuff really this time. I got a camera, a few vinyls, um, just a few little uh, odd bits like the iPad, which is pretty sweet. But anyway, let's um, show you what I picked up, which I'm pretty happy with. If I'm actually going to keep for a while um, because... I'm doing a bit of old style video so you know doing for bmx and that just be lying around with the camera so yep as you've seen i picked up this camera which is would have been top of the range back in the day um cost me 10 quid and i looked on ebay it's worth about um 80 90 depends on that but i'm not going to be selling it at the moment i'm going to be keeping it just going to do some old sort of style videoing and play around with it because it's a really cool camera it's still got the original receipt which i'm going to show you guys anyway um let me crack it open i know i've already shown you guys this but i did actually show you that had the original receipt in it which is just insane so this is the camera it is in lovely condition um yep as you see it's really nice and uh, it fully works which is great um the battery life isn't the great at it but you know old now um, still got the original manuals and stuff but this is what made made it even awesomer when I wrote found in here still got its original receipt if this were focus here you go you got the year where they brought it from and then you got the the price they paid which is almost as you see 800 pound which is insane so yeah really cool Happy to have in that. It's got the manuals, all the cables, uh, which is wicked. So now I'm going to tell you more about the iPad. I bought a new uh, touch bezel um, bit for it. And yep, I got it working, fully working. But I can't use it because basically the iCloud is locked. So I cannot recover anything or, you know, re wipe it all off and use it. But it's still for a quid is a bargain, really. So definitely grab that. Um, hopefully, I can maybe move it on. I'm, I've kept it. I've not stuck the screen down because I thought there's no point. If it's going to be taken apart for parts, it might as well just, you know, uh, set it as it is. And hopefully someone will want it. Um, it's a shame. It would have been wicked. I would have definitely used that and uh, kept it. But, you know, it doesn't work. Or it does work, but it's locked to iCloud, which is a very annoying. But, um, yeah, I'll leave it here, guys. That's it. That's what I picked up. That's what I got. Um, not much else to say. There will be another one out shortly. I hope you guys enjoyed my last video, which I did, which was at Sonning at Doncaster, which went really well. I really enjoyed doing that. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please get a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.